It seems like every week we have another irrelevant female college athlete who is trying to get attention by being a fake victim. We saw the entire thing play out with the Duke volleyball player, Rachel Richardson, who made up a story about racial slurs being hurled her way at the BYU game. That was proven to be absolutely a lie. She lied about that to get attention. Well, now we have another event that occurred at the South Carolina football game where you had a bunch of female athletes on the field to represent Title IX, 50 years of Title IX, female empowerment, female athletes, all this thing. Well, they took their sweet ass time getting off the field and ended up holding up the game, including giving away South Carolina's formation. So the South Carolina head coach was not very happy about that. He has since been forced to apologize. South Carolina football coach Shane Beamer apologizes for yelling at female athletes to get off the field. And of course it was spearheaded by this person, Jalissa Harris, who of course uh, has BLM in their profile. They are an activist. Now they're trying to sell merch off all of the, all of the likes that she's getting, all the social media attention that she's getting from this. But she retweets this from Mark Ryan. And I will show this first until we get to what she said. This is minor league, South Carolina. Embarrassing. And Beamer knows it. A literal WTF moment. Be better. Hashtag be better. Now, this is, as you can see, the middle of South Carolina, Georgia. Georgia is the best team in the country. They're at South Carolina. South Carolina didn't go very well from them the first quarter. Uh, they have the ball. They are ready to snap. They don't want to sit there and let Georgia diagnose what their formation is and get even more prepared for the play. But they can't start the game because... These female athletes are taking their sweet ass time getting off the field. Watch this. Now, I don't know if you probably can't hear it all that well uh, because it's just recorded from a TV, but these are all the female athletes that got brought out there for the, the Title IX celebration for the female athletes, whatever it was. This is them. All the South Carolina student athletes. Here's the coach. Not very happy about it. Get off the field now. That's what he said. You can read his lips. Now, is he mad because they're women? Is he mad because these female athletes are still in the spotlight? No, he wants to play the game. He's mad at all the people that are probably in charge of getting them off the field. That's why he's frustrated. That's why he's mad. And you can see this just continues. He's pretty irritated this is taking so long while his quarterback's out there, while they're ready to play, and the refs won't let them because these women are still out there on the field taking their time. Look, he's sitting there. He's like, what is going on, man? This is ridiculous. Screaming and yelling. And uh, Georgia head coach was not super happy about it either. What's this response? All female student athletes were asked to come to the game to recognize 50 years of Title IX. We were on the field for maybe 15 seconds, then screamed at to get off. If you want to honor female student athletes, then do that, not this. Once again, how many times do you have to see these irrelevant that's what she is, irrelevant female athletes. She has 600 followers, 600 followers on Twitter, 65,000 likes by being a victim, by claiming that women need to be treated better than this. Yeah, you were asked to come there. You should be happy that you had an opportunity for how many people does that stadium seat? What, 60,000, 70,000, something like that? I don't know. But you had, you had the opportunity to be in front of that many people for them to pretend to clap or pretend to give a shit about your sport, ready to get back to football. You should be grateful for that. And maybe you should hurry off the field. But no, she keeps seeing that it pays to be a fake victim. It pays to get attention like this. Now people are going to know the name Jalissa Harris. And who knows what's going to pop up uh, in the future. We see this over and over again, especially with female athletes. ESPN and the mainstream media love to support crap like this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.